just about set to kick off here, and it's not a home game for either of these teams. And now let's head down to the coin toss. And brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste and zero calories. Enjoy everything. We're ready to get this one underway as the teams have lined up for the opening kick. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. Catches it, and he's looking for more. And he's tackled around the 44-yard line. He faked out everybody in the stadium. When you can sell the run that well, you're going to have the upper hand on the defense. Gets out to about the 45-yard line. Now he tries to buy some time. Diving for extra yardage. Taken down at the 43-yard line. Here he goes. Brought down right around the 32-yard line. So with that run, they pick up another first. Just a nice job again up front by the offensive line. They're doing a good job of neutralizing the defensive front, and it's allowed them to move the ball down the field. Caught and he's hit immediately. Delivers to the halfback on the screen. And he hits him hard at the 27. That'll be a loss of one. Not much going on there. Those kind of plays will not work against this defense. You can be sure of that. It looks like they're going to try for the long field goal. Rice is looking to go up by three. It's up. And he just drilled it from long range. That one looked like cake for this kid. Chalk up three points for the offense. Three nothing. Right. Excellent kick. And he just got stood up right there. The Trojans and their coaching staff, Kirk, just happy to have a guy like this in the program. Their offense really clicks when he's playing well. Well, I think it gives them the diversity that they're looking for. I mean, at times they're going to run the football. Other times they're going to try to air it out. When you have one guy that gets so much attention on the outside, it just seems to open up other aspects of their offensive attack. And they've done a good job as an offensive staff of putting together a good plan. And I'm sure we're going to see it again today. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Here's the handoff, and he's taken down for a loss. down 10 yards to go ball on the 30 the 
running back gets two on the carry. Gain of two yards. That'll make it second and seven. Throws it deep. Leaps. Picked off. He's tackled at the 50. Nice interception and an even nicer vertical. Oh, yeah. This guy's an athlete. There's no throwing it over this guy's head. He'll go up and get it. It's first and ten. Ball on the 50-yard line. Rice has a three-point lead. He's going to try and scramble. They'll bring him down at the 49. He might have gained a yard on that scramble. Taken down around the 47 yard line. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. He gets hit out of bounds at the 34 yard line. Not a real fancy play here, just a smartly run route. Good protection and a well placed ball. Most times you don't need much more than that. He makes it to the 32-yard line. Makes the catch and look out. And they make the stop right around the 16-yard line. Nice throw to hit the out route against man coverage for a first down. it. Knocked out of bounds. Right around the 14-yard line. From the 14-yard line. Second down. There's the strike complete. Tackle made around the one-yard line. Scrambling, and he's going to be sacked. Rice is up a field goal. Touchdown, Owls. Splits the uprights with the extra point. A nine play, 51 yard drive. And they put up seven points. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Their last drive ended with an interception. We're about to find out what the defense can do this time. Anytime you give the ball away, it's a disappointment. So these guys want to show that they can hang on to it. He's gobbled up in the backfield. There are three quarters remaining. Rice has got a 10-point lead. Back to the action now here in the second quarter. hit before he can go anywhere. That makes it third, and three. third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Gets it. He's in space. And down he goes. Right around the 40. That was more than enough to pick up the first down. Next time, this defense will be playing on their heels.
First and ten. Ball on the 40-yard line. Tailback brought down for a loss. You keep gaining negative yards, and you put yourself in a position of having to make bigger and bigger plays. Puts a lot of pressure on that quarterback. That's a great tackle at the 35-yard line. Very solid gain through the air. I'm impressed with the poise of this quarterback and the ability of the receiver to keep his concentration and get his hands on the football. Third down again. Roger, Roger. Keep the seven behind. Watch the seven. Watch, watch the slap. Watch the slap. And he's tackled at the 30. That is just sound, fundamental football right there, making it look so easy. They'll spread the field with five wide. Just throws this one away. And this play is number eight on the drive. Here we go. Little screen pass. He's taken down at the 25. They've been two for two on third downs in this drive, and they'll try to convert again here. He's got it with room to run, and he is drilled at the 19-yard line. And this is the 10th play of the drive. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 19-yard line. Gets to about the 17-yard line. And this is the 12th play of the drive. Complete brought down, nothing to him. And they pick up two yards. Doesn't look like this defense is going to let them beat them with the deep passes. So they'll allow those short completions to the tight end. They'll call on the field goal unit here. And they can make this a one possession game with this kick right here. Kicks up, and it splits the uprights. USC lines up for the kickoff. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Rice is up a score. He makes his way to about the 38. He gets to about the 27 yard line. They've obviously found a formula for moving the ball against this defense. Let's see if any adjustments are made before their backs are really against the wall. and he's met immediately. Takes 
it up the middle for a nice run. With a quick throw. Fires quickly, and he's got his receiver for the touchdown. They pretty much had their way with the defense there. Terrific play. He makes the PAT. A nice six play, 76 yard drive, and they get it in for seven. The score now, 17-3. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead, and on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. He's under pressure. And they got him. The offensive line has to at least slow the guy down a little bit. He was in there in no time. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. He scrambled. Slides down. He scrambles there for about eight yards. Rice is going to use their first time out of the half here. Flags are all over the place, and they'll blow it dead. They'll line up for another third down play because of the penalty. Well, here you're in a third down situation, and then someone makes a mental mistake. It makes your blood boil if you're a coach. From their own 21-yard line, third down. Fires it quickly. Oh, he had the pick, and he dropped it. Nothing clicking there. Let's see if they can make a few adjustments before their next series. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. Tackle at the 46-yard line. The Owls are just cruising through this first half, Herbie. Really a comfortable lead here. Yep, but still a lot of football left to be played. they got to remember that it's a four-quarter game, and even though that first half went pretty well, things can change in a hurry. Now, I think this defense right now needs somebody to try to lift up their spirits. They seem to really be just out there kind of going through the motions. And I think the last time they were out there when they gave up such a long drive has had an impact and an effect negatively on the psyche of this defense. From the 41-yard line, first down. Scrambling around. Tackle at the 33-yard line. Good game there on the quarterback scramble. You know, I really like the decision to tuck it and run here. He waited and found no one open, so instead of throwing it away, he just took it upfield for himself. It's on the ground, picked up by the defense. So this could be the opportunity they were looking for. Yeah, this will be a big possession by both teams. The defense now needs to step up and hold their ground. They do not want to let this lead slip away. It's a new possession for this offense, so what will it hold? He's tackled at the 45-yard line. The Trojans call a timeout. That's their second of the half. From their own 45-yard line, first down. He wants it all going long. In the air, it's intercepted. The defense here comes up with a huge interception. They've already got the lead, and it looked like this offense was trying to get back in the game, but that was a big turnover. Caught open field. They'll bring him down at the 30-yard line. 
of the game, six yards. That'll make it second and four. And a quick throw. And he's taken down around the 40-yard line. If you're the defense, who do you try to cover this guy with? He's too fast for most linebackers. He's too big for most corners. You have to rely on your safeties, who generally aren't very good in one-on-one -on -one coverage. Once and all, going deep. No, incomplete. We've still got a half of football remaining. Rice is in front by 14. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. This team has played its tail off in the first half. I mean, they, they've been committed. They've been relentless. They've built a two-score lead I when nobody a, thought that they... Philip You know me pretty well, David, but they're not used to being... No. This is a different kind of experience for them. What's the key for them to handle? Well, it, it is tough, and that's why you see teams that are experienced, that are battle-tested, that have that are proved that they can win in these moments. They seem to be more at peace, and they seem to make more plays. When you haven't been there... You don't know how you're going to react. So it's going to be interesting to watch these guys. You know, being up two scores is not something that they probably envisioned. They they envisioned somehow pulling a shocking, miraculous upset, maybe a Hail Mary or a last-second field goal. So I'm really going to be curious to see the second half, how they come out, if they can stay aggressive, and, and they can realize, shoot, 30 minutes away, boys. That's it, 30 minutes, and big things can happen. I know you're hoping for the last-second field goal. Yeah. Just about set to start the second half. What are you looking for? I'm looking to see which team has that decided schematical advantage. And if they can find it, they'll blow holes three or four axe handles wide. Brad and Kirk will be there to call the second half. Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Owls continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Throws complete, and he's got space to work. And they make the stop at the 41-yard line. That was a really nice play on the ball by the receiver for a substantial gain and a first down. From their own 41-yard line, it's first down. Good tackle there in space. Number 29 makes the tackle for the play eight yard line. That makes it first and ten. Right left, right left. Pull down, pull down. Watch the run, watch the run. Ready, check, check. Right, right, right. right. Quick throw. Tackle made at about the 15 yard line. Now it's first and ten after the big pass play. Touchdown, Trojans. Very impressive run by the halfback to find the end zone. Good play call here by the offense coordinator. He really when you get down into the red zone and you have a halfback like this, just give him the ball and let him find his way into the end zone. And he hits the PAT. A four-play, 75-yard drive. And the result, seven points. Boy, that is scoring in a hurry. This offense is looking more and more explosive. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. 
He's to the 20. And down he goes at the 24-yard line. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. Rice is up by a touchdown. Got an opening. He gets hit out of bounds at the 41. He's at midfield. He gets out to about the 44-yard line. He gets to about the 34-yard line. Gets it out quickly, and he tackles him hard at the 32. He gets out to about the 32-yard line. Here's the halfback. Gets out to around the 18. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 18. There's a very impressive open field tackle. Rice up seven points. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. He's on the run, and he's going to run this one in. Touchdown. and looking and he finally said to himself you know what I'll just take this thing myself nice decision making he splits the uprights with the extra point everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff Nice kick, plenty of distance. Tackle made at the 16-yard line. These guys came up with a touchdown on their last drive, and they'll be hoping for another six on the board here. Well, I think this defense has got to do something, because right now the quarterback is in such a good rhythm that you've got to do something to try to get him out of it. I would suggest trying to bring more pressure. Try to come up with an exotic blitz look to try to get him on his heels as opposed to being the aggressor and attacking the defense. First and ten. Ball on their own 36. He's tackled at the 46. Call it a gain of 10 yards. That'll make it second and inches. Man left, man left. Pull it down, pull it down. 57 to Mike. Mark 57. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Fires out to his wideout. He's taken down at the 35 yard line. First down.
First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 35-yard line. Here we go. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Gain of six on the play. That'll bring up second and three. Setting up the play action. Quarterback's going to run it, and he's got room to work. And down he goes, right around the 18-yard line. From the 18-yard line, first down. Looks to the end zone. Good open field tackle. This is the eighth play of this drive. them up with a first and goal first down and they've got their eyes on that goal line and he just gets rid of it this is the 10th play of this drive it out to the right to the halfback. He tossed to his reliable running back who made the play for the score. No way the defense could have properly defended that one. It was too well executed. And he adds the extra point. A 10-play, 84-yard drive, and they come away with seven points. Fred, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. So the score now, 24-17. Wow, close game here, and up and down the field with both these offenses matching what the others done. Well, it's fun to watch each offense get an opportunity to go out and make plays, and you're right, you almost feel as, as if one offense feels challenged and has to be able to bounce back, and they've done that. It's early in this game, so the defense can still have an opportunity to make some adjustments. But if things don't turn around in a hurry, it's really going to start to affect the psyche of that defense alarm. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Rice is up a score. Brought down the 38-yard line. So with one quarter remaining, the Owls lead 24-17. Back in this very pivotal fourth quarter. I got you, boy. I got you, boy. Mike 55, Mike 55. Eat, eat, eat. He's scrambling. Ball is loose. Fumble. Offense falls on him. Tackle right around the 40. Second and eight. Ball on the 40-yard line. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. And he hits him hard at the 43.
He's going to try and scramble. They bring the quarterback down. Fields a punt at the 20. He's taken down at the 27 yard line. You know, this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Tosses out to the tailback on the screen. And he is drilled at the 34. Number 57 makes the tackle at the 34 yard line. That'll bring, That'll bring up second, second and three. three. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Goes incomplete, intended for his wideouts. He's short that time. No question. He had him open, but just couldn't manage to get the ball up enough to allow his wide receiver to get his hands on it. Slings it. He's tackled at the 39-yard line. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 39-yard line. And he snags that one. They'll bring him down at the 49. Incomplete, and that wasn't the greatest pass in the world. Well, I don't know how anybody can throw a great pass while getting drilled like that. From their own 49-yard line, it's second down. And he's finally taken down at the 24-yard line. That makes it first and ten. Less than three minutes in the game. Now he's scrambling. Slides down to the ground. And he got about six on that little scramble. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. is left and he's taken down at about the 17 yard line he picks up a yard at best on the toss and this is the ninth play of the current drive and now he's got room to run touchdown southern cat Here comes the kicker to try to tie this game up. And he converts the extra point. They line up to kick this one away. He sends this one deep. He's to the 20. Brought down at the 27. This is when things get a little prickly. You need your playmakers to really come through here. He's under pressure, and he's leveled at the 20-yard line. 
Fires quickly, and he's got his man. And they make the stop at the 33-yard line. Just over a minute left. The defense is making great plays here late in the fourth quarter in a tie ball game. And the question now is which offense can rise to the occasion? And he's taken down at the 25-yard line. Here we are late in the fourth quarter, and this is what this game has come down to. Every possession is going to count, and this could be the one right here. Oh, and almost picked off. It can be tough making a play on the ball sometimes, but that's probably a pick he should have made. From their own 25-yard line, second down. Cavalry's coming. And a quick throw. Tackle made around the 34-yard line. It's first down and 10 now after picking up some great yardage through the air. a great tackle at the 32-yard line. He scrambles. Now he's going to run and watch out. We're going overtime. USC is going to have to use their second time out of the half. It's first and 10. Ball on the 22 yard line. He gets it up. And he got it. Game over. And that gives them the lead. I know that I call kickers head cases, but this kid isn't one. It's like he doesn't even feel the pressure. And so that's going to do it. The Trojans get the victory, 27-24. That brings this broadcast to a close. 3A Sports and Kirk Curve Street, I'm Brad Nessler. We'll see you soon for another edition of NCAA Football 14.